Time's up, Larry. Give it here. Hmm, 103. Yep, that's a fever, all right. I gotta get up. I gotta host the show. Easy now. You've got to rest. The people need me, Drag. I know they do, friend. Only too well. Hell, the world needs you. But you're no good to anyone in your condition. Well, if it's what I gotta do, then I'll host from this bed. We don't deserve you, you bray son of a bitch. Hello, friends. As you can see this, deadly virus waits for no man. He's self-diagnosing. The test was negative. I know what the coronavirus looks like, all right? I thought you had to go somewhere. Quite right. I'm off to the store to get you some chicken noodle soup and some ginger ale. Come to think of it, I believe we're out of bread, too. Whatever you do, do not get out of bed. A fever plays tricks on the mind. The devil's true playground. Okay, man. I'll be back in an hour. Well, I guess we'd best get this show on the road. Today, we begin with a story. A story told not by any mere mortal, but by a mysterious woman, shrouded in darkness. Greetings, traveler. My name is Cordelia, mistress of the night. You've traveled a great distance through many worlds to find me, to hear my story. Well, gather what courage you must, for I can't guarantee a safe passage back from where we are going. No. Tonight's story begins with a creature most foul indeed. Hello! Right this way, right this way! I live in this bush here because I'm a bush troll! There's all sorts of trolls. There's rock trolls, and cave trolls, and sea trolls, but uh, we bush trolls are the mainest. We're also the best at telling stories. Have I got a story for you, eh? It's the most wonderful story you ever heard. It starts here, right here, right now. It's about a man in a faraway world, in a faraway time. I don't want to die. <laughs> Hot dog, why are you crying? D don't eat me. I, I have money, lots of it. Not not on me, but but but, but I have it. I I I I, I could get it. I, I swear to God. Don't jerk me around. You got something you want to say, Milk? All right. The truth is, I'm not just an ordinary hot dog. What? Prove it. I don't have time, but I have real, real insider information about COVID-19. I'm listening. What I'm about to tell you could compromise everything as we know it. I was given information to give to an agent in the next building over, but recently he's gone in my A. We fear the worst. So, I've been here in your fridge, awaiting my next assignment. I knew I didn't buy any hot dogs. This isn't a fucking game! They got Michelson. As far as I know, I could be next. You have to promise me. Promise me that when your eyes are opened, you are going to do everything you can to bring those bastards down. All right, all right. I promise. All right, then. The truth is, it's the bread companies. Rye, wheat, sourdough. You'll find the answers that you're looking for on the only place that is still 100% truthful in this godforsaken world. YouTube. This is Agent Michelson, Project True Operative 330. If you're watching this, 
It is likely that I'm already dead. They've been lying to us. All of them. The government, Big Pharma, and most importantly, the IBA, or International Bread Alliance. Look, I, I know how crazy this sounds. Bread is a simple recipe that has fed mankind for since the beginning. What you have to understand is that any company that produces such a product holds an unprecedented amount of power. There are 325 million, 700,000 people in the U.S. as of 2017. Each of us consumes an average of 60.3 loaves a year. Imagine how those numbers would grow if people were to panic. Imagine the profits bread companies would see if there were, say, a global pandemic. While the majority of America was sound asleep, congressional leaders met in secret with the heads of every major bread organization to pass bipartisan Bill H.R. 912. The bill required as of December 20th, 2019, all bread produced inside the United States be made with a new artificial sweetener known as aspartagus. Aspartagus is nearly 3,000 times sweeter and more addicting than common sugar. Over the coming weeks, Americans would become more addicted to bread, and they wouldn't even know it. The IBA's Chinese affiliates released a mildly dangerous new strain of flu onto the public. The government and the media sowed fear and panic through various countries. When the bread sales began to skyrocket, the media distracted the American people by focusing instead on toilet paper sales. What they weren't telling us was that the toilet paper companies had cut production to just 30% one week before the shutdown. The truth is, the IBA has operatives everywhere, on nearly every street corner. Your friends, your neighbors, nobody can be trusted. Since learning of the existence of the IBA, I regret to say I am no longer safe. If you're listening to this, tell my wife Becca that I love her very much. Tell her to remember me not for my many faults, but as a man who gave everything for his country. And for her, Michael's an out. Rings on my fingers, bells on my toes. State your name and purpose. What the hell are you doing? I told you not to get out of bed. Who sent you? Put the gun down, you idiot. I went to the store and got some soup and some soda. And some bread. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Put the gun down, Larry. Good God, you're burning up! I think this is it, Drag. I think I'm done for. Oh, hush, nonsense. It's okay. It's okay. You just need some rest, is all. I want the world back, Drag. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Shh, 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 shh. I promise you're okay. 